The sport fishing boat, Outer Limits, was retrofitted with a multi-beam transducer and an acoustic sonar array that was used to record both the habitat on the seafloor and the fish suspended up in the water column. With funding support through the Pacific States Marine Fisheries Commission, this one-of-a-kind partnership broke down artificial barriers between the fishing community and the science community. The NOAA science staff and the sport fishing crews became very efficient teammates. As the project progressed, the Pacific Southwest Fisheries Science Center, under the direction of Dr. Bill Fox, continued to send resource to the project in the way of staffing, equipment, and with shipboard time aboard the NOAA ship David Star Jordan. The David Star Jordan would acoustically map areas and the outer limits would follow, and using the ROV would provide a visual assessment to support the findings of the acoustics team aboard the Jordan. Two key NOAA scientists, Dr. David Deemer, Dr. John Butler spent a tremendous amount of time working to develop the use of acoustics and ROVs to study the rockfish. While the work is far from over, tremendous headway has been made into understanding the habitat and behaviors of the various species of rockfish. Cow cod and boccaccio are two of the key targets of the work as they have each caused serious financial impact to the fishing community through closures. Promising is the fact that many of the cow cod seen by the ROV were gravid and ready to give birth. Also, large boccaccio were seen schooling in significant numbers up in the water column. You will note the adult boccaccio with the black spots moving together over the reefs. It can't be emphasized enough how valuable the partnership between the fishing community and the science community has become. The relationship that has been established will clearly help pave the way ultimately to a better understanding and management of this valuable coastal resource.